الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وبارك على عبدك ورسولك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise him, we seek help from him We ask forgiveness from him We uh, ask a refugee from him We repent to him uh, uh, And we, anyone who has been guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed guided Anyone who has been misguided, you will never find the guardian to guide him I bear witness, there is no deity except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone Without any partner they bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and his messenger. O oh Allah, let your prayer, your peace and blessing be upon your servant Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his servant and, his, and all his companions. In continuation of the series of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's ethics, we still with the ethic of al istafar seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we mentioned before several times, this is a long uh, khutbah series here because the numbers of uh, verses in the Quran Kareem and also the number of, ver- uh, of uh, hadith they are uh, numerous so we but we would like to cover all of them by this way you know how it is important to continuously make in stafar in all your matters because stafar is the gate for forgiveness stafar is the gate for prosperity stafar is the gate for all goodness will come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, <clears throat> so uh, in, in, in verse 72 to 73 in Surah Taha, in response to what uh, the Pharaoh threatened the magicians, the former magicians that who he collected through, from all over Egypt to challenge Prophet Musa alayhi salam and when the, these uh, mag- magicians, they know exactly their, their job. They know what kind of magic they have. But when they face the truthfulness when they, of, of Musa uh, message, when they face the truthfulness of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the message that the, the Prophet Musa wanted to deliver, they, uh, they admit and they believed in Musa alayhi salam and they prostrate for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Pharaoh was shocked because how come you believe in Musa without my permission you uh, you did that and you go, you're going to feel the consequences because we're going to punish you by cutting your right arms against your left legs and your left or your, or your left leg against your right arm and we're going to crucify you in the in the date tree. So here is the response of the all these threats, the, the threats to be killed. And what's it is here is the response. Response of magicians to Pharaoh. Bismillah Rahman Rahim Qalu Lanu Uthirak Lanu Uthirak Ala إنما تقضي هذه الحياة الدنيا إن آمنا بربنا ليغفر لنا خطايانا وما أكرهتنا عليه من السحر والله خير خير وأبقى. So with all confidence, with strong belief, these people, the, 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 these magicians, they did not, although just a, a minute before, before the, when the, the, the competition between them and when Musa started, they were in the side of Pharaoh. They were in the side that they're going to, they were looking at each other and they, they making sure that they're going to be the victorious so they get rewards from Pharaoh against Musa. But immediately after they saw the, the true sign from Musa that the, when he threw that stick for him, that, well, that he had, and that stick turned to be a, a huge snake, and that huge snake eat, eaten all the the magic that they have, so they knew that all what they what they've been on was false, 
and what Musa had is the truth. And the, and the, with all confidence, they said, uh, This means that they, we are not going to work for you against what we uh, got from the real, real science. The real science is Musa is the truthful uh, messenger, and we are not the tr truthful uh, uh, against him. We are not true, you are not true, he is, he is the one who is the true, uh, has a true message. And we are not, we are not going to sacrifice our, uh, our uh, life after life uh, because of you. And, uh, Go ahead, do what you wanted to do. Because you know that the, what they believed in is the, is the, is the truth. That what they believed in, and this is this is coming from 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 the true Creator, and and Musa was the true messenger. This is a, this life is nothing. This life is just a bridge to the real life, because this life is not going to not going to last. Uh, and look, compare that if you go throughout the history and throughout the uh, the world, you find some. Uh, people who support the, the the dictators, who support the the uh, controllers or the president, in regardless if it is true or not against the their own people, and these people that they, they don't care about what even the judges that they, they do falsify judge judgments against people just to satisfy the rulers. And compare, the, compare these magicians, the, the, the previous magicians of Musa, to such judge, judges now, to the rulers, the, to satisfy the rulers, they give judges to kill people, to uh, crucify people, to they put people in prison to satisfy the ruler. Uh, but this is, the, the, look at this, the, the people of the, these previous magicians of Musa, they knew the reality in the afterlife is this is the one that's going to last long. So they worked for it, they believed in it, and they are not going to sacrifice uh, their uh, well-being in the afterlife for just this temporary life. So he told him, go ahead, we are not going to prefer you against the reality, the reality that we're going to live in the afterlife, that we're going to, we're going to be with uh, God who created us, and we believe in him now, and we knew for sure that he is a true, True creator, we knew for sure this is man, the Musa, is the true messenger. And we don't care about what you're going to do to us. Regardless if you cut our arms, you cut our head, we don't care. Inna We believe, we have, we believed in, in our Lord. Indeed, we believed in our Lord. So they can forgive our sins, the previous sins that we've been made. We, we have been made all the time. And whatever you forced us to make from the magics, Wallahu uh, khayrun wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is the one that go, is, is the lasting truth that we're going to go to Him. And this is, we, we, for that sake, we don't care about what you're going to do to us. So these people sacrificed their life. They did not pray one raka'ah. You did not do anything good in their lives, except except they believed in Allah and they believed in Musa. After after that incident, and that's it. And this, and, and, and you could imagine the, if you ask about the people who go into the paradise without doing any good things, these are the people the, uh, of was uh, with the Pharaoh, and now uh, believed in, in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala through Musa salam, and didn't care what. The, uh, the consequences that Pharaoh is going to do. Pharaoh is going to cut their arms, uh, right arms, against their left legs, and they're going to crucify them, or, or vice versa. So this is uh, when, when you have a strong belief in, in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you, when you seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you don't care about this temporary life. This temporary life is just a bridge to the real life. Also, in another uh, uh, verse, verse 109, 110, 
انه كان فريق من عبادي يقولون ربنا امنا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا وانت خير الراحمين فاتخذتموه سخريا حتى انسوكم ذكري وكنتم منهم تضحكون. Now uh, the true believers uh, when they say we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we seek for we seek mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we and oh Allah you are the the most generous, the most merciful. So this is this is what you you always seek. Seek refuge, seek forgiveness, seek mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most forgive, forgiving. So this is what you you always uh, seek that from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, 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 the people who do the, the, the who don't see the reality, they're going to make fun of the true believers. And but uh, the reality is going to the end is going to be the opposite, because the, the, the true believers are going to have the good rewards. They're going to be in the paradise, and these people who make fun of them, they're going to end up in the hellfire. Now, in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Al-Mu'minun, verse 115 to 118, uh, أنما خلقناكم عبثا وأنكم إلينا لا ترجعون فتعالى الله الملك الحق لا إله إلا هو رب العرش الكريم ومن يدعو مع الله إلها آخر لا برهان له به فإنما حسابه عند ربه إنه لا يفلح الكافرون وقل رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين Always, always say رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين Always seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek the uh, mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and the most forgiving. So uh, at the end of whatever you do, at the, at the beginning or in the, all the time, seek this forgiveness, seek this uh, mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. Uh, in another verse, which is Surah Al-Shara, verse 49 and 51, قل آمنتم له قبل أن آذن لكم إنه لكبيركم الذي علمكم السحر فلسوف تعلمون لأقطعن أيديكم وأرجلكم من خلاف ولأصلبنكم أجمعين قالوا لا ضير إن إلى ربنا منقلبون إن نطمع أن يغفر لنا ربنا خطايانا إن إن كنا أول المؤمنين This is we go back to the same the magicians of Musa عليه السلام هو عندي when the, the conversation between, of uh, Pharaoh with them, when they uh, prostrate for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after the, uh, the, the knew the reality, uh, Pharaoh told him, uh, you believe in him before I, I give you permission, uh, and the, I am the one who taught you this, and now I'm going to cut your, uh, your, your hands and your, your legs, uh, as I mentioned, from the right arms, from the left legs, and we're going to crucify you. So they didn't care. قَالُوا لَا That's not, we don't care about this, because we're going to go back to Allah anyway. We're not going to die now, we're going to die any time. Uh, we, we, we are anxious for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us, uh, to, to forgive all our sins. Uh, and we uh, are the first believer of uh, Musa after knowing the reality. So they give themselves the advantage of they are the first believers. And this is how they, uh, they, they, got, they, got, uh, they will get into the paradise without even making any uh, good deeds, just for them to believe uh, in Allah and to disbelieve in Pharaoh on the spot. Because they, after, after that incident, they were killed. And immediately they went to the uh, paradise. Now, uh, in another uh, verse, which is the Shara also, 75 to 82, uh, This is the a conversation between Prophet Ibrahim, Ibrahim alayhi salam, 
and his people. Uh, and the, he was arguing with them about what they, what they worship. They worship idols, they worship stones. And, the, uh, and the, even the, telling them, you and your, your previous generations, your parents and grandparents, this is what you, what you did wrong. Uh, uh, this, these idols, they are my enemies. We are only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of all creations. He's the one who is my Lord. He's the one who created me and they guide me to the right path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is good. He's the one who feed me and give me and, and also give me the drink, the water to drink. Because everything, all, everything in your life coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't think that someone uh, that given you provisions. No, it's everything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the means of somebody. So always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all what you have first. And the, don't think that somebody, somebody who is the one who give you. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who give you through that person. You thank the person, and uh, but always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what you, what you get. And also, he, uh, uh, Prophet Ibrahim, he, he, he said that, If I get sick, he's the one who cure me. Don't, don't think that the doctor, when you go to the doctor, he's the one who cure you. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the one who uh, has the ability to cure or not to cure. But for you to go to the doctor is a means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cure you through that means. But only that you can go and get all the medicine in the world. But if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not like you to be cured, or well, you will not be cured. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will, will guide the doctor to cure you or not to cure you. So you can get the wrong uh, dosage or something, you will die. As some people die, but uh, uh, when you know uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who, in his hands, everything, then the, you believe strongly in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who cure uh, in the sickness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who going to give us also death and then he will resurrect us at the day of judgment to uh, and also and after all uh, we eager to for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us uh, in the day of judgment that's the most important thing forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because without forgiveness we're going to be in a, in, a, in a complete disaster. Forgiveness is the one that's going to move us from the hellfire to the paradise. Forgiveness is the one that's going to save us in the, in the afterlife. And we, because whatever, don't depend on what you do. Uh, because what you do, could you can do it and you think it's doing it right, but uh, it's in reality, it's not. So always ask for forgiveness for, for, for what you know and what you don't know. أقول قول هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم أدعو الله عز أن تكون هذه الساعة إجابة سبليكيت من الله أكسبت وسبليكيشن أن تستحق الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله إن الله وملائكة يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد Prophet Musa alayhi salam, uh, when he was walking in the noon time in the, in the city, uh, in the capital city of Egypt, he found two people fighting. One person from his people, from Bani Israel, and the other person from the Egyptians. And the person from his side uh, asked him to help him. And without intention, he was just pushing that other person away from the... Because basically, the Egyptian person was uh, asking the Israeli person to work for him for free or as a slave. 
And the, the, they told him, well, I'm not going to work, and they start arguing. Someone want to force somebody to work, but the other one he said, no, I'm not going to work. Like if you go to, if you, you could imagine going in the street and asking somebody to do something for you without even, uh, by force. So anyway, Musa salam, he kicked that Egyptian person and he killed him without intention to be killed. Uh, and, and, and when this happened, uh, of course, Musa salam, was uh, afraid that, that the Egyptians, the, the, the Pharaoh, going to uh, get revenge from him. So, he, but in, in the meantime, he, uh, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive him. And he, uh, and غَغْفِرْ لِي رَبِّ إِنِّي ظَلَمْتُ نَفْسِي فَغْفِرْ لِي فَغَفْرَ لَهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him when he asked, when Musa alayhi salam asked for forgiveness. This means that whenever, whatever sins that you make, immediately ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever you do wrong, don't give up and say, oh, this is too big that I can't, I can't be forgiven, no. Ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. Regardless what you do, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there for you to forgive you. Also the story of uh, when the two angels, they climbed the wall on, on, on a prophet, uh, Dawood alayhi salam, and uh, they uh, had this argument with him about uh, that some one of them has 99 sheep and the, one, the other one has only one. And the one has 99 sheep asking the one has only one to, to take it from him. And that was, in the, it was uh, uh, kind of a, uh, pointing to the, that uh, if uh, the prophet uh, Dawood has 99 wife and the other person has just one wife, and the, and the Prophet, no, uh, prophet uh, the word got that wife from that one person. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was giving him an example of, of, of that. So he knew this is the, uh, uh, this is a test uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he uh, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him. Uh, and he prostrated. And فَغَفَرْنَ uh, لَهُ because uh, Prophet Dawood, he was uh, always uh, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was one of these people that we had, had a very unique fasting. He will fast one day and uh, eat another one day. So one day fasting, the other day is not fasting. So Prophet Dawood was uh, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that way. And also, uh, Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam, he uh, was, uh, was always asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. قَالَ رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَهَبْ لِي مُرْكًا لَا يَنْبَغِي لَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ بَعْدِي إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ Prophet uh, Sulaiman alayhi salam, he uh, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and even asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him something that nobody else will get after him. And this is exactly what, uh, what happened. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the power on the wind. The wind could move him from place to place. And the power also of knowing the languages of the birds, or the languages of the insect, or the language of the ants. He was, he was, Allah made him to know, uh, to know the, the, the meanings of the languages of all creations, other creations other than human. So this is something nobody, uh, no humans had ever after that. So in this way, Prophet Suleiman, he was unique in that power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him after he a supplication that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would, would give him something that no one would get like him uh, uh, after that. Uh, also in the Surah Al-Hash, verse 10, وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدْ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ رَؤُوفٌ uh, uh, رَحِيمٌ uh, when you, when you seek forgiveness, don't just for, seek forgiveness for yourself, but seek forgiveness for you and for everybody that you know, for the previous, for previous Muslim that uh, before, even for the, for the Muslim will come after you. This way you will get, the, the angel will supplicate for you. 
when you seek forgiveness for more people, as with the number of the people that you're going to ask for forgiveness, you're going to get rewards. So everything is counts. So don't be just for yourself. No, when you make it generalized, you will get rewards for as many people that you 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 ask and you supplicate and for, uh, and and always uh, say, always supplicate and always pray. ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة الذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم. So uh, don't always make sure that you you thank Allah subhanahu wa taala for the for you being Muslim because. Look, look what happened. Look how Islam, uh, for the current situation now, what's happening in China with this uh, virus, corona and this, and see what happened because of the, the food that they eat. But what, what Islam put, uh, put on us, what to eat and what to not to eat. Even uh, in, in, in Sunnah, certain things not to eat. And part of it is pork. Uh, and other things, like the, the wild animals. And this is what the people in China, they eat wild animals, and wild insects, wild snakes, wild all dogs, and all these wild animals, and this uh, wild animal has this kind of disease, and this is the disease spreading them, and it's happening here, a very small uh, virus that shot in the country down. But because of Muslims, alhamdulillah, they, they, they care about what they eat, and they eat halal, and they, they, uh, so the, their health, you, you don't find such disease in, in, in such Islamic countries. So, inshallah, we'll continue on with this uh, uh, stafar uh, in previous and in, in future khutbah, inshallah. But we we'll always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, we we'll ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mercy. Oh Allah, help us to purify ourselves in body, mind, heart, and spirit. Oh Allah, do not let our heart deviate from the truth. Now that we have been guided, but grant us mercy from your very presence. For you are the grantor of bounties without measure. My Lord, help me to perfect my prayer. And of my descendants, our Lord, accept this prayer. My Lord, forgive me and my parents and all believers until their resurrections. Glory to Allah, Lord of majesty and honor. And peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and all his companions. Praise to Allah, Lord of all creations. Aqul qawli haza wa astaghfirullah alayhi wa lakum wa aqim salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu anna ilaha illallah, ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Hayu al-sulah, hayu al-fulah, kata tu salat, kata tu salat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Aqim wa aqim wa aqim wa aqim. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Dini. Kanabatu wa iyaaka nasta'ini. Aydin as-sarat al-mustaqim wa sarat al-adhin al-amta alayhim. Fa'il al-mahtubi alayhim wa al-dhalim. Amin. فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوع وآمنهم من خوف الله أكبر الله أكبر صلى الله عليه وسلم الحمد ربنا لك الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر
الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم انا اعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر ان شانيك هو الابتر الله اكبر الله اكبر ربنا لك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله أستغفر الله 